Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate 12 lead ECG placement. So let's get started. For 12 lead ECG placement, you're going to need the following supplies. You're going to need 10 electrodes, alcohol prep, abrasive tape, and hair trimmers if there's excessive hair. Then you want to make sure your patient is positioned properly. It's best to get them in the supine position, so laying flat on their back. But sometimes patients can't tolerate that, so you can put them in the semi-fowlers or low fowlers position. So after you've positioned your patient, you want to expose the chest. Now in some patients, this area is a private area, so you want to preserve their privacy. You can use a towel to cover this area while you're having to work on the chest. Then what you want to do is you want to prep your skin because you want these electrodes to stick to this skin. Therefore, what you can do is get your alcohol prep pads, take those out, find your landmark where you're supposed to go on the chest. You're going to take these pads and you're going to clean the area where the electrode's going to go. This is removing all those oils, dead skin. Then let that completely dry. Then after that has completely dried, you can take some abrasive tape and just gently rough up the area. This allows that electrode to get a good connection. And you'll want to perform this for all the sites that you place the electrodes. So I've prepped all the sites and first I'm going to place on the limb electrodes. So we're going to do the right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. Beginning with the right arm, what I wanna do is I want to go just above the wrist in about the forearm area. And I'm going to take the electrode, pull the backing off, and I'm going to go about right here. And I'm gonna push it down so it sticks firmly. Then I'm gonna to come to the left arm and I'm going to put on the electrode about the same place I did on the right side. I want them to be equal. So I'm going to go about right here and press firmly. Now I'm going to come to the right leg and I'm going to go above the ankles and I'm going to place electrode right here, pressing firmly. And then lastly, I'm going to come to the left leg and I want this electrode to be equal to the right leg. So I'm going to go about right here. Now that I've placed the limb electrodes, let me go over the limb lead colors that you typically will see. Now this can vary depending on the manufacturer or the machine you're working with, but typically the right arm is going to be white, so it's clouds over trees, which is green for the right leg lead. Next is black for the left arm lead, which represents coal over fire, which is red for the left leg lead. Now I'm going to place the precordial or also called the chest electrodes. To do this, I need to use landmarks because my goal is to get to the fourth intercostal space first because that's where V1 and V2 are going to go. So I'm going to find the suprasternal notch, which is right here. It's like a notched out area in the bone. And I'm just gonna travel down a little bit and you're gonna come across the hump, which is known as the angle of Lewis. It's like a ridge. Then use this angle of Lewis, and I'm gonna to go to the right, and I'm going to feel something hard. That's the second rib. Then I'm going to slide my hand down a little bit, and I'm in a space. I don't feel anything hard. That means I'm in the second intercostal space. Then slide my hands a little bit more. I go over a bone, and then I go a little bit more, and I feel the third intercostal space, and then just a little bit more, I feel another space, and that's the fourth intercostal space. This is where I wanna go and I'm just right to the sternum. I'm not on the sternum. And this is where V1 is going to go. So I'm going to place it right here. Next is V2, and I'm going to follow that same procedure again. Find my notch, go down to my angle of Lewis, go over to the left this time. That's my second rib. I'm gonna go down. My goal is to get to the fourth intercostal space. I'm at the second intercostal space, third intercostal space fourth intercostal space, and I'm left of the sternum, and it should be even with V1. So I'm going to go like right here. Now I'm going to place V4. I'm temporarily going to skip V3 because V3 is going to go between V2 and V4. And V4 is going to be at the fifth intercostal space along that midclavicular line. So find your clavicle, the beginning and the end of it, and then just in a sense, cut it down the middle. So here it's about this area. So again, I wanna repeat those same steps for finding my fifth intercostal space. So second rib, second intercostal space, third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space, and then this is about my fifth intercostal space, and I'm gonna go midclavicular line. So about right here is where we are going to place V4. 
Now I'm ready to place V3 and I'm going to place it between these two at the midpoint. So about right here. Now I'm going to place V6 and I'm temporarily again going to skip V5 because V5 is going to go in between V4 and V6. So V6 needs to be mid axillary level with V4. So I'm going to have you turn to your side just a little bit and mid axillary we're talking about the armpit. So we're going to go midway with the armpit. So about right here will be V6 and we're level with V4. Okay, if you want to roll that for me. And now we're going to place V5. So it is going to go in between V4 and V6, level with those, and we're going to go right here. Now let's go over the colors of the leads that connect to these electrodes. And again, these colors can vary depending on the machine you're using, but typically they are these colors. We're going to have V1 as red, V2 as yellow, V3 green, V4 blue, V5 orange, and then V6 purple. And how you can remember that, remember this mnemonic, rainbows yield great beauty offering peace.